the channel. We are getting ready to head out to Fonda with my truck. Not Mark's, he doesn't have a motor in it. But unfortunately, he did spin two mains on his engine the last time out we were out in Granby. So that engine is up to Island Pond to get uh, touched up and repaired along with his other engine. So now he's got two up there. Um, neither of those were by Island Pond. Those are both engines that they are fixing for us. But in our truck news, truck's all loaded up, ready to go. No changes since Pennsylvania. We're gonna leave the same gear. Leave everything as it was. I didn't get data on the last run. I didn't flip the switch up is what I can tell because we went through, did our maintenance, checked all the bolts, uh, torqued the heads, ran the valves. We uh, tested the data logger when we started it up and we got a good log. So I'm thinking it was just me uh, not turning the switch on. So the big goal for today at Fonda is to get above that 5,000 RPMs because I've been constantly just getting two 5,000 RPMs and I want to work on running the clutch out like a disposable item keeping the RPMs up at 5,000 or above if I can and try and drive it out that way. See if your girl wants to go. There she goes. So we have made it to Fonda. We got the tires on. Just about to start the truck. Make sure everything's happy. I go turn the battery on for that. Okay, so we got the oil pressure. Give it a little ether.
this drive shaft out the angle of the foot. No, and just run a chain under it. That's what you broke. Looks like you lost the drive shaft transfer case. It looks like it's all blown out of there tonight. unload situation on it yeah I mean Matt you're actually in pretty good shape I would say so I mean that you joint fucking ain't yoke. fucked <laughs> it's just the yoke complete failure that's fine all right back to the trailer after the run the truck was on a wicked pass I think I did what Josh was telling me to do came off hard over 5,000 rpms going down the track had to be close to 30 mile an hour we were really booking and then we broke the rear yoke so uh, looks like the drive shaft is going to be in decent shape. Obviously, we have to take it all out of the shop. But as far as the carnage, it looks like we just maybe broke a cast yoke. They make billet ones that we can buy. Um, so minimal. Just have to redo all of our drive shaft shields in the back. But they did our job. Contained the drive shaft. No one got hit by a cap. No one got hurt. So take the tires off, pull her in, rebuild, and come back at it. Because that was a awesome fucking pass and if that didn't break we would have been knocking on the door I really think so let's get it in 